Hey, what's up everyone, Game Dad here, and today we are going to be talking about the five games that influenced me as a gamer. And I want to give a special shout out to Into the AM for sponsoring this video, but more on that later on. Now, we are going to dive right in, and the first game may kind of surprise you because a lot of people don't like this game. Personally, I do, uh, but it is the very first video game ever that I ever played in my entire life, and that is Fester's Quest on the NES. Let's take a look. So here we have Fester's Quest. The game is definitely super laggy. It was very early in the NES life cycle, um, and it has awkward gameplay, really poor collision control, but you know what? It's the first game that I ever played, and it was something that I played with my big brother. So it had a lot of meaning and importance to me as a little kid. And honestly, I've gone back later in life and played it and beaten it, and it's not a great game, but I don't think it's as bad as everyone makes it out to be. Now, next up on the list is another NES game, and it is the one that my childhood best friend and I used to play constantly. Anytime there were sleepovers, anytime we were hanging out, we were always playing this game, and I have a ton of good memories with it, and that is Mega Man 3 on the NES. Let's go ahead and take a look. Well, here it is, Mega Man 3, and honestly, this is probably my favorite Mega Man game just because I have so many memories with it, but overall, it's a really good game. It has a tough challenge. The Yellow Devil at the end of the game totally sucks, but more importantly, this was really my first time ever experiencing playing games with friends and looking forward to doing gaming with friends. So that's why this one will always hold a special place in my heart because I just had a blast playing it as a kid with friends. Now, next up on the list is one that pretty much anyone that's a part of my generation can like relate to with this game, and that is Halo 2 on the original Xbox. Now, don't get me wrong, the original Halo was amazing, but Halo 2 took it to a whole new level, especially with Xbox Live when that first came out, and the game was absolutely amazing, and just here, take a look. I do not think that there is any multiplayer game that I put more time into playing than Halo 2. I was an original subscriber to Xbox Live and still have it to this day, and being able to play this game online with people all over the world was, it was groundbreaking. It was amazing. The game is super fun, and even the later renditions of the game, still super, super fun. These maps were some of the best, in my opinion. I didn't care for ones in later games, but I spent probably hundreds upon thousands of hours playing this game online when it first came out and for years and years later. And next up, we have Destiny 2. Now, with this game, this is one where it's kind of shaped me as a gamer today in modern times. It's pretty much the only online game that I will play anymore. I play all kinds of other games, but Destiny 2 is the one that I keep going back to. And let's go ahead and take a look at some gameplay and I'll give you more thoughts on it. For me, over the past several years, Destiny 2 has definitely become basically the quintessential online multiplayer game. There is constantly new content and expansions being added to this game all the time, and it is just a ton of fun. There is always something new, something different, something you can focus on with friends, you can do all kinds of various events, different things, and the game overall looks great, plays great, and is just a ton of fun. Now, before we get to the final game on the list, I'm gonna do that typical YouTuber trope and I'm gonna throw in some honorable mentions. Why, might you ask? Uh, well, it's my video and I don't care, that's why. All right, but the first one is Baseball on the Intellivision. Now, I did not grow up with this console. I got it way long after it was discontinued, but Baseball especially holds a special place in my heart because it was basically the only video game that I had ever played with my mom and literally every time we played, she beat me. But let's go ahead and take a, like a look at this very graphically intensive game. No, I'm lying, it's not graphically intensive, but it's still pretty fun, let's take a look. Well, here it is, folks. The one, the only, baseball on Intellivision. As I said, it is not graphically intensive, but you know what? Playing this game, like, multiplayer, two-player, it, it was actually a lot of fun. Even though I constantly lost to my mom, 
who is terrible at video games, but she was really good at this one. All right, now the other honorable mention before we get to the final game is StarCraft. And not because it was the first real like RTS game that I was ever truly into, and I was very into it, but oddly enough, it helped me get into IT. And as a result of playing StarCraft, I actually learned how to code with HTML at the time because we would have like clans and stuff like that in the game and we always had websites to keep track of leaderboards and things like that. So I learned the very like basic HTML skills for building websites because of the game StarCraft. And that later influenced what I do now as a career. And finally, before we take a look at this final game, I would like to take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video and a new sponsor to the channel, Into the AM. Into the AM offers premium quality graphic tees at really affordable prices. They have amazing designs all throughout their sites. The shirts are super comfortable and they just have so much to choose from. As you can see on their site here, they have multiple different sales going on, including a special 4th of July sale for 30% off site-wide. And if you also go ahead and use the code GDS10, you will get another 10% off your order. Definitely check out these amazing graphic tees. They also have basic tees. They have pants, shorts, joggers. They have a little bit of everything. But personally for me, it is all about these amazing graphic tees. So definitely check it out at intotheam.com and use code GDS10 at checkout. And now, finally, the last game on today's list is probably my most favorite game of all time. Like when people ask, you know, oh, you have so many games, what's your favorite game? This is probably it. And that is Diablo 2. Whether it's the original or the remake, Diablo 2 has got to be my favorite game of all time. Let's take a look. And here we go, my absolute favorite game of all time. I have beaten this game more than any other game that I have ever played, and it's been a couple dozen times by now. This right here is footage from the Resurrected version, which was an absolute masterpiece. They could not have written a better love letter to the original Diablo 2, but this game is just so good. The story is epic and the gameplay is epic. All the different classes that you can choose from, all the different items, weapons, everything. It also has online multiplayer. It's just, ugh, this game is an absolute masterpiece and I love this game. And there you have it, everyone. That is my top five games that influenced who I am today and who I am as a gamer, plus a couple honorable mentions. Uh, and again, a huge thank you to Into the AM for sponsoring the channel and this video. And if you all liked today's video, then go ahead and check out this area right here for another recent video that I did. And as always, I'm Game Dad. I thank you all for watching, and I will catch you all later.